Today we're going to talk about the CPAP, the Critical Path Assistance Program. I know a lot of you are probably going, oh, the hell, what are we going to have to go through now? Well, managers, this is going to help you. And I kind of compare everything to football because it's amazing to me how much football mimics business. So what the Critical Path Plan does is let you know where you're at, just like a football coach has to know. In football, you got four downs to make 10 yards. Now, that sounds simple. Most of you know football. Some of you may not. But anyway, you got four downs to go 10 yards to get another first down. So you have the first down markers and also the sticks, which will give you the idea of how where the ball is at. Depending upon where the ball is at is what makes the decision for the coach. If it's first and 10, a play call for the coach might be different. It would be if it's uh, fourth and 10. So it's critical that that coach know exactly where he's at during those four downs. In business, you have four phases. It's not four weeks, it's four phases. Some months have five weeks in it. So what we'll do is we'll break it down into four phases. The problem I have with branch managers now, or problem branch managers have, is they don't know where they're at through the month. They don't know, they're always chasing the numbers. And when you're chasing the numbers, you really don't know what you need for that following week or the next day. Yeah, in a sense, you don't have a game plan. A good coach has a game plan. This is going to tell you where you're at, where you need to be at all times. As I said, where the ball is at and what down it is are going to determine what play you call. Where you're at in the second phase or probably the second week of a month will determine what you're going to ask your team to do, your sales group. And if you don't know where you're at, you don't know exactly what you need from your sales group to, to get you there. That will also determine how you use your Saturdays and what type of service code you want to put into play. It's a difference in winning and losing. It's that simple. All right, let's take a look at this CPAP. Managers are going to be required to do this, to fill out your CPAP before 10 o'clock each morning. And I know what you're thinking. Oh, hell. Look, you look at it on your company shared, and it's going to look like that, and you're going to go, holy hell, what in the hell? What in the hell am I going to do with this? It does look complicated. Trust me, it's not. We're going to break it down. This is your tutorial where we're going to walk you through the entire thing. If you have questions, you can contact me, but once we get finished this, I promise you it's going to be easy. It's also going to help you every day to know where you're at. So anytime we introduce something new, everybody wants to scream and shout, run in circles and go crazy. But you have to accept this because you're not going to get any better if you don't start to learn new things. So the way we're going to do this and the way you're going to do it throughout the week, you're only going to work on one phase at a time. One phase Remember, the month is going to be broke down into four phases. It's not four weeks, it's four phases. Because as you're seeing right here, this is the first phase of December. And we're going to look at Baltimore's. They're all the same. So if you know how to do Baltimore's, you know how to do yours. So if we look at Baltimore, you're looking at just the left side. Don't worry about the right side. That's for me. This is the left side. When you pull up your critical path, this will be on the left side. So remember I told you there's four phases. Those are the four phases there. So... I know right now some of you are scratching your head and going, oh, God, it still don't make sense to me. Well, it's not supposed to yet. Just wait a minute. It will, all right? So let's just look at the first week. The first week's already begun. We're at the fourth of the month, or I mean the fourth day of the month right now. So if you look at Baltimore's, and yours will be the same, you can see that it's at uh, CPAP. And what it's going to give you is the budget for your branch that month. Baltimore's budget is $73,112. Now, there's 19 working days in this month because of the holidays. And that really, what you do is you divide 19 into 73, 112, and that's going to need, give you what you need per day. These are the dates. If you'll notice, the ones that are highlighted in blue, those are Sundays, and holidays be highlighted in red. Saturdays are free days, so you're not going to have any per day requirement for those days. So we'll get into that. So your goals every day, if you were to start the month at 73,112 for Baltimore, yours would be different if you're not Baltimore. You're looking at I mean $3,848 a day production that you need to get. Now, most branches, they have built-in revenue from their quarterly routes. What you have to make up is in sales. Well, you don't know where you're at if you don't know what you have on the books. Hence, if you look at that column right there, that is what we call scheduled or produced. When you're looking at the week before 10 o'clock every morning, you're going to look at that week or that phase that you're in, and you're going to put what's on the books. It's easy to do. You go into your uh, in, into our database, find out what's on the books, what's scheduled under work, and you put it in. When you're putting something under scheduled, it will go under that tan highlight. 
All right, I'll explain that to you in a minute. And when you, it will automatically count if you're up or down. The system, it's an Excel sheet, so it's going to calculate it. It's going to calculate it in this column here. So at the beginning of the month, Baltimore had $2,779 already on the books. You put it in there. You know it's on there. Well, that meant they were lacking $1,069. So on the first, Baltimore had to make that up in sales. Now, remember, Saturday, the second is a Saturday. So on Saturday, he had $666, uh, $660 on the books. So that's a positive $660. Now, if you'll notice, you're going to have to do this. If it's minus, you have to highlight it in yellow. If it's positive, you highlight it in green. You got to do that. It's pretty simple. It's Excel. It's not like it's rocket scientist. You do that for the entire phase. Do not mess with any of the other phases till you get to that phase or weeks. You got it? Pretty simple. Honestly, it really is. At the bottom, this will give you what's lacking. This is scary. This is why I know none of you know to do this. Right now, if you hit gold per day for phase one, Baltimore needed $23,088 to hit phase one. They got $16,597 already on the books, right? But they need $6,000 and almost $500 in sales. How do you know to get that? You don't if you don't use this. I use this ever since I've been in business, and I've told you I've never coached a losing team. There's going to be some months you don't hit. It just is what it is. You don't win every game. But the majority of the games you're going to win, the majority of the months you're going to win, if you know where you're at. It's that simple. So... This is going to be up to you. You can review this video as much as you want to to get on it, and you can also call me or write me. All right, now, ah, damn, I'm fast, ain't I? All right, look, this is moving forward, fast forward. This is what's on today, and I'm going to show you what's different. It's the same phase that you were in, but now we're on the fourth. So this is how it's going to look. You'll notice this is what Baltimore actually produced. They produced seven two thousand seven hundred seventy nine dollars and on Saturday, they produced their $660. Now, you'll notice that what is produced is now highlighted in black. You have to do that. When the day is finished, the next day, on the 10th, when you, I mean, on the day when you come in, the next day, you see where your plus or minus, and you'll notice that he's still in the, now, if you'll notice on the second, that should be in green. I'll change that. But what happens is that deducts already what you're behind. So, he's minus $1,069 for the first, but he's positive on $660 for, the sat, for that Saturday production because he's not required to hit anything. Now, that should be highlighted in green. That's my bad, but you'll, you'll figure that out. All right, so up to the fourth, he's good. He's already got what he needs to get. Now, he looks at the, next, at the rest of the week. Now, every day that you come in, you're going to have to look at what's on the books because he probably sold something. That branch sold something over the weekend. So you then go in for phase one, which you're in right now, and you're going to put down what's on the schedule. What's on the schedule will change every day. And it's either going to be plus or minus on what you need. This is going to tell you where you're at. And again, now he's still 23000 that he needs for that phase one. He's come up a little bit. And it's now he still needs 6000 almost $500 to carry the, the phase one out. Now, what little figure on the right we're going to get to in a minute not the figure but the, the the table on the right when you open it up that's for me what happens you i don't want you messing with that i'll take care of that but as you progress through the phases your daily numbers will change but i'm not going to change them on you until the end of the, each phase but don't even worry about that right now all right the number on the i mean the table on the in the middle which is on the right that's for me. I'm just going to go over this with you because I'm going to take care of that. What happens on this table here, I'll go in every day and I'll highlight and put in what you've produced. It will then calculate it over here. If your budget is $73,000, you've produced $3,449. That leaves, and now instead of 19 working days, you have 18 working days, which means now instead of your number being, uh, I think it's $3,000. 840 now it's 3870 so you see how your daily number went up don't worry about that i'll take care of that all you do is you take care of the numbers on the left and it won't change if it had the numbers on uh, on your table that you in phase one uh with your you need per day don't worry about that i'll take care of that so every morning you're going to go in and you're going to update what's produced you're going to highlight it in black you're going to highlight green or yellow if you're up or down it's that simple and you're going to mark 
what's on the schedule. What's on the schedule is going to change every day because you sold something the day before, hopefully. All right. And that's what you're going to do here. The rest of the stuff on the right, I'm going to take care of every day. Now, next month, once you're comfortable with this, I'm going to have you take care of what your numbers are and what they change on that table on the right. So it's pretty simple. I think you guys can do this. Uh, I don't see a problem with it. I told you, man, I'm fast. You're going to have to learn to be fast with me. You now know exactly where you're at if you do this. You now know what you're going to need for every single day. And you're going to know where you're at. You're going to know what down it is, what down a distance. How important Saturdays are, are going to be clear to you right now because some of you don't have anything on Saturdays and you're behind the sticks. You're behind the numbers. So your daily numbers are going up that you need, but you can bring those numbers back down with Saturday production. You build your future. You got to get good at this, guys, if you want to progress in this industry. You just can't go to work every day and expect shit to happen. Shit don't happen. You make it happen. And that's the only way to do it is know where you're at. See, I told you it's simple. I'm a good looking dude, ain't I? You know, that, that's going to be on the test. Is Rusty a good looking dude? Hell yeah. Now get this done.